As you know, most of the material on fractured flickers comes from films which were originally made without dialogue or sound effects. As a result, we've developed a great interest in the art of pantomime, the ability to tell a story or convey an idea without the use of words. With us in our studio this evening is a lady who in her illustrious stage career has been able to capture and hold the rapt and undivided attention of audiences all over the world without speaking a single word. Ladies and gentlemen, the eminent authoress and entertainer, and the first lady to merit the term egdesiast instead of strip teaser, Miss Gypsy Rose Lee. Oh, thank you. So now I'm an expert on pantomime. Well, it's mm -hmm. as good a reason as any to have you on our show. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time in my entire life that I've ever been compared with Charles Chaplin. <laughs> well, I was thinking more of Harry Langdon. Oh. And actually, your pantomime plots may have been simpler and more direct than theirs, but uh, they were certainly just as appealing and effective. Oh, I think my music was better, too. <laughs> no, quite possible. <laughs> uh, Gypsy, your career has been the result of a long, tough climb to stardom. Can you tell us what it was that kept you going through the bad days? Well, darling, there were several things. My mother, for one. You know, mother just wouldn't admit there were any bad days. And then, of course, there was always that need to keep eating. But more than that, I'd say it was the audiences themselves. It was always very nice to know that, uh, regardless of what was happening, the audience was with me. Miss Lee, in many cases, your audience was way ahead of you. <laughs> but, uh, uh, in, in recent years, you've turned from treading the boards, or, or should I say the runway, to uh, quieter pursuits, writing, lecturing. Mm. As a matter of fact, you've written two runaway bestsellers. The uh, first book was a whodunit, wasn't uh, it? The G-String Murders. Uh, then, of course, there was your s sensationally successful autobiography, Gypsy. Yes. But tell me, why did you decide to, uh, to write books instead of performing? Well, for one thing, Hans, there was less danger of catching cold. <laughs> and then, most important, I think, was the work schedule. The work schedule is much easier writing. You might say I preferred the one a year to the two a day. So, as I remember, you did star in a one-woman show called uh, A Curious Evening with Gypsy Rose Lee. Oh, how nice of you to mention that, Hans. Tell me this. What was it that was so curious about that evening? <laughs> well, most people thought the most curious thing about the evening was the fact that the entire evening, I was fully clothed. <laughs> that seems a shame, so... <laughs> Miss Lee, in tonight's role as an expert on pantomime, have you any sage advice to offer young aspirants in the theatre? Uh, yes, I have, Hans. I think that actors should always avoid the obvious. They should always leave a little uh, something unrevealed. <laughs> they should stick to the tradition of always keeping just a little, um mystery about their work. That's very wise. <laughs> and tell me, do you think that we, on Fractured Flickers, live up to that tradition? Is there something uh, mysterious about our program? Oh, I'm afraid not, Hans. It's quite obvious, darling, that you are all completely out of your mind. <laughs> Thank you. That's the nicest thing any guest has ever said about us. <laughs> and good night, Miss Gypsy Rosalie. And good night to you, Hans. And thank you for the opportunity of spending a very curious evening with Hans Conrad. I remain fully clothed, too. <laughs>